Doctor, you, let me ask you, watching him speak, and he's doing what he's doing, and you say something, he answers it. You say something, he answers it. You say something, he answers it. As a self-taught guy like this, how impressive is that to you, for him to have all these theories? Oh, uh, uh, number one, I'm not necessarily agree all the no. details right. with him. But uh, in principle, I would think uh, he did got those, the fundamental concept correct. Say, electron is not true. Is the, you cannot have a, a monocharged particle exist. That's the foundation of my UN theory of everything. And he did get it correct to say, hey, I can rebuild the universe without the gravity, dark matter, dark energy. So now we can explain what the dark matter. So we now we know gravity is just called a summation or called a residual effect or called I emergence. Like I like the summation. I like it's you a like summation, summation, summation of all summation of, all of the electromagnetic force of the of the system, yes, right? I like that. You like that one. So that now, like. so we got that grounded. So so that means gravity is a part of is a manifestation of magnetic force. Okay, we know that one. So now we wanted to solving dark matter, dark energy. That's lots of people try to uh, put a bet on their uh, Nobel Prize. They only on, on threw that, but problem. they threw that in. They're trying to solve it because they didn't have enough matter based upon the the gravity, all the equations on gravity. They didn't have enough matter to have the spiral, so they just started adding things in there because they weren't using the magnetic returning waves to generate the things, the same stuff that we did in the rebuilding of the planet Saturn. Instead of it being an internal attractor, we allow the returning waves, the magnetic returning waves, to be the thing that's causing the structure. Everything is made not by being pulled in, but by the weight of everything else pushing down on top of it. That was our approach in doing it and being able to rebuild Saturn literally without the animation, without gravity, without dark matter, without dark energy, having the, 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 pent, the hexagon at the top of it, being able to have all of the energy flows, that in itself, that's why I put that out there. I'm like, hey, rebuild the planet Saturn in your blender and prove that gravity is nothing but an effect. That's what I'm asking. Please do that. I want to uh, share something uh, with Patrick. I say, if you can understand that we are talking about a dark matter, do we need a dark matter, number one? No. Then how we come up come up with the concept of dark matter? You know, Terence mentioned about it, because we're missing gravity force. From mass. Based on mass. Gravity force is, is purely mass-based, right? If we need we, we do not have enough gravity to hold uh you know, uh, hold the uh, galaxy, galaxy. <laughs> yeah, spiral galaxy uh, together. We have to, we're, we're missing something, right? Or also, also, we have to make up something. So we make up, say, okay, we do not, uh, some, some matter we cannot see. So dark matter, that means the matter existed, but we cannot see. We cannot feel. Yeah. <laughs> even, can, even cannot detect. We only know the effect, right? So this is, so you know, what's wrong with them? They use the Newtonian gravitational equation. Model. That's wrong. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to offend no, anybody. No, you're not. No, you did right. You agree with that yeah. one? Newton's gravity equation is actually, Newton defined as a universal, uh, called a, um, uh, you, yeah, yeah, universal, there's a universal gravitational constant. And it was wrong. There is no universal. That's why I was saying constant. gravity at different places is that it changes depending on the distance from something, all of those things. So it Newton's means it's law, a conditional fact. New, Newton's law of uh, universal gravitational That's right. states that every particle in the universe attracts every other particle with a force along a line joining them, and the force is direct proportional to the product, the masses, you know, uh, inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So you're saying that's incorrect. Oh, uh, that's a relationship, empirical relationship. Uh, it, it, we, can, we can use, and I, I already have a rewrite this equation, uh, get rid of this singularity point. So the, right now, Newton election, uh, has a divided by distance r. If r equals zero, so the gravity becomes infinite. So that's not, uh, not exist in the universe, right? So I, get, I, I revise that one, get rid of a singularity. But that's not important. The most important concept is the mass here. The mass 
in this as in the gravity is not actually constant. It it it, no. it is varies. It is actually derived from electromagnetic interaction. That's listen. Listen to you guys. One, um, I realize I'm not a physicist. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. And the level of intellect needed for this, it's very impressive. Just listen to both of you guys. I love listening to this as well because uh, the market's going to react to it and they're going to try to tear apart some of the argument. And, and that's great. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. Where do people find all the other things for them to run through? The white, are, oh. are all of these public or not? Go, go to Terry's Lynchpins. Okay. So all of that is Yeah, there. all of that is in Terry's Lynchpins. The moment you pull it up, we've got an actual section and it has about 10 of these papers in it. And we're going to add, there's about 60 papers all together that we've done since we can't get publication anywhere else. And I'm asking them to please, you know, depending on your curiosity, you want to talk about anti-gravity machines, then here we go. You want to talk about pulling energy directly from the flux, here we go. You want to talk about tangential flight, here's the papers on that. So everything is in there. Hi, everyone. My name is Terrence Howard. I'm an actor, um, but in the field of science also. So if you would like to connect with me, you can connect with me on Minect. Um, the QR code is down below, and let's have a great conversation. If you enjoy this video, you want to watch more videos like this, click here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click here.